are going to be really mad that I pointed this out, but uh, have you ever noticed all the guest speakers on Ancient Aliens are really uh, white? That's weird, right? Because this show is primarily about analyzing the culture of people of color in ancient history. And yet the only times I ever seem to notice a local being interviewed is to just give basic facts about the area. The locals are never the people claiming that it was actually aliens. The show is still on the air, it's got almost 200 episodes, and they're still making more of them, so I'm sure there are exceptions. But anytime I see it on TV, it's always a white dude describing things that non-white people did, saying that it was impossible for how undeveloped they were, and then saying that it had to be aliens. How could the Easter Islanders have invented their own writing without some other cultural influence? They're doing things that would require precision work. How could they have had these advanced machining tools? The one answer would have to be they'd gotten it from ancient aliens. The Mayans could not possibly have developed these systems on their own, so it is clear that they were given to them by aliens out there. Of course, the ongoing narrative of these moments is clearly a somewhat contradictory lack of respect for these civilizations and their people. Their art is interesting enough to analyze, their accomplishments impressive enough to praise, and yet, the hosts always come back around to directly or indirectly saying that they were too unsophisticated to have accomplished any of this without outside help, which is an opinion that they never seem to come to about European churches or castles or anything like that. Clearly, someone told the local people how to place these stones into different areas. So you're surmising the technology was given to these people. The engineering yeah. knowledge. Yeah. Because this screams mathematics. I will certainly concur to this extent. Someone or some ones had extraordinary knowledge here. This is not easy to build. No. The funniest thing about this show to me is that if you believe all of these guest speakers, and you think that 90% of the accomplishments of people of color were done with the help of aliens, and meanwhile we have Stonehenge and nothing else, doesn't that imply that aliens don't like white people? I mean, aliens were going across the globe throughout all of early civilizations and meeting with all these different people and helping them invent things and helping stack structures and building pyramids for them except for us what did we do what did we do that made aliens avoid talking to us for the rest of human civilization i posted that joke on twitter and a couple select people got really really mad so now in my ongoing fight to make everyone on the internet mad i'm officially selling aliens don't like white people merchandise on redbubble get yourself some aliens don't like white people t-shirts coffee mugs blankets shower curtains